Hey guys, Barbara here. You should use the document outline feature in Google Docs. Let me show you why. When you have multiple pages in a document, it can be monotonous, time consuming and unnecessary to scroll through the many pages you have to find what you're looking for. Google's document outline will help you to keep your documents organized and structured. This document outline can also be used for your table of contents. The document outline can be really useful when keeping minutes of a meeting. Each meeting can be a new header. Simply open the document outline and find the minutes from any meeting all in one place. It's easy to create a new document, but it isn't always necessary. If possible, rather try and keep everything together. Let's jump in and have a look. This is what my scripts for these training videos look like. On the left hand side you will see the document outline. On this document outline are all the video titles. If I click on one of them, it will immediately take me to that script. The outline creates a hyperlink to that section of the document. The smaller indented text are the different sections you will find within each script. I can open and close this outline from the left hand side. Simply use the arrow to close it and the document outline to open it again. Once your outline has been created, you are able to use it as a table of contents. All you need to do is head to the top of your document where you would like your table of contents to be inserted. Select Insert and scroll down to Table of Contents. Decide if you would like page numbers to appear in your table of contents or not. And your table of contents will be inserted. Notice how each of the headers have been included and all the page numbers have been added. Each of these headers are hyperlinks. When you select one of them, you will have the option to copy a link to that specific section of the document, edit the link, or remove the link. If you have made changes to your document, when you come back to your table of contents, click the little refresh icon and your table will update. See how easy it is to add in a table of contents? Being able to copy the link to a specific section of a document straight from the table of contents is really useful. You may be working on another document and you would like to refer to the text in a different document. You can do that by simply copying the link and adding it in. Watch our video on linking in Google Docs to understand linking a bit further. Let's go into the details of how to set up that document outline. From the editing toolbar, you will see a section that says normal text. See the little drop down arrow? Click on it and your different heading options will appear. Here, you are able to allocate your headers to their relevant fields. For example, let me show you how I build my script headers using this feature. Each video title becomes a heading one. I'll type out the headings for the videos and then highlight the first one, change it to the font I would like it to be, and the font size and color. Once I have done that, I will go to my heading options, scroll down to heading 1, and from the two options that appear, I will select Update Heading 1 to Match. What this will do is make it a heading 1, but then it also ensures that every time the heading 1 header is selected, it will make that heading the same font I just chose, the same font color and size. If I selected the next heading, I can simply go to my heading options and select heading 1 and the change will be made. If I open the document outline on the left hand side now, notice how those changes have pulled through. If I select the third video heading and go to the options again, notice that next to the words apply heading 1 is a keyboard shortcut sequence. Using this keyboard shortcut sequence will save you time when changing headers. Simply highlight the heading and using the keyboard shortcut, the header will change to the correct font as well as be added to the document outline. This simply saves you from needing to go to the options menu each time. My next step is to have a trainer introduction section, a screencast section, and a trainer outro section. I'll add that text in. My scripts can get quite long, so I want these subsections to appear on the document outline as well. I'll make sure that I have the font size I want to use and make all the text adjustments first. 
In order to have a smaller subsection below your headings, simply use the header 2 or 3 option that appears. Remember to select Update to Match. This will ensure those headers always stay with the same font look, which will make your document creation look and feel more professional. I'll change the others to be the same heading and then simply copy and paste those headers to each video. There you go, my structure is starting to develop. You may realize that you actually want your headers to be a bit bigger and maybe a different color. This is not a problem. Simply copy one, select the new font size you would like, head to your heading options and select update heading to match. Notice how all the other headings have changed too? It's easy to do. If you have spent some time choosing your fonts and you would like the choices to be pulled through into your other documents you create, from the options that appear, select Save as my default styles. These presets will now appear in all the documents that you create. Using these header fields will make your document creation professional and efficient. Spend some time using it in your documents and see how it can benefit you and your workflow needs.